Sergeant Key and I here reporting for duty, and last we left off in RimWorld. We were uh, making a bigger, like, infirmary kind of area and then working on actually having a prisoner area because we've been kind of sticking them outside our, our broken-ish, not looking good. Why is uh, these guys hurt? Uh, oh yeah, that's right, because we just got invaded, that's right. We just fought off an, an invasion. We got some food lying around, some weapons. We should probably collect these weapons. All right, let's see here. I accidentally hit my microphone, so you might have heard that, or the pop filter, really. All right, so I figured out how to make these. It says granite blocks, but I think all you really need are just stone blocks, and it will grab whatever stone that's out here and make that type of stone block. So if we grab a granite chunk and bring it over to the table, it's going to make ourselves uh, a granite block. So we do need to put up the stone. Oh, we have a stone cutter's table. It's on due forever. All right, that's great. And we have food, which is also great. All right, let's see here. Is there anything we can do in particular that we have so much steel? What? Why well, didn't realize we had so much? I should build some stuff. I should definitely build some stuff. You know what? I feel like we need to have a build a Reno. And let's let's see what do we want to build that requires a lot of a lot of uh, steel structures. Man, you know, like maybe we can get some steel doors up in here. Maybe we can like deconstruct this and then put some steel doors like right here that seems nice and then uh, maybe we can throw down some st steel doors like no just regular steel doors not powered like right here yeah thinking that's pretty good oh we also need to make a machinery thing to take this thing apart which will give us like a bunch of stuff and then what else can we make that requires kind of stuff oh ooh, miscellaneous we can make ourselves a multi-analyzer right here that needs to be pa we don't have plasteel or whatever that other stuff is never mind what about this okay we can put some of these right here so we can drop one right there and right there that will help them heal uh, a tool cabinet i think will um benefit all of these if it's right here so that will help out the uh the process over here how's yo doing oh Yes, he made granite blocks. Awesome. Siri, that's cool. So that means we're going to be able to get that granite wall eventually done, which will be really nice. Uh, what other stuff do we want to make? Miscellaneous power, battery. Yes, we really should make a battery room. That's something I've kind of neglected for a while now. And I think I'm just going to dig over here and, and open up a room and make a battery room, uh, which should be fine. Like right, right here. Let's do it right here go up and then we're just gonna make a huge battery room huge battery room and then we're gonna charge up all those batteries we're gonna make some uh what is it called to power we're gonna do some solar generators you know we want some of those up and about since we have the supplies for it you know we might as well make them you know what I'm saying and then I don't know if we're ever gonna build the geothermal generator over here probably not it's kind of far away and I don't really want to stretch materials out all the way over there so that's probably going to take quite a bit of time. Why are we not on three speed? We should be. All right. Everything else I think is pretty fine so far. We do have to clean. Oh, oh. Also, one thing we should probably do. I haven't done this in, in quite a bit of time. Wooden floor. You know, we should just wooden floor everything, actually. Just wooden floor everything. All right. So that's all going to be wooden floor. And then we need to add some, uh, what is it? Stay sterile tile. Uh, we'll do that later because it's not completely digged out yet. Um, limestone, marble tile, hmm, granite tile, metal tile, paved tile, concrete. Let's throw down like some concrete in here. You know, we're gonna need some concrete in here because this is like our our area of walking. And do it like that. All right, that's gonna be like a lot of stone, I'm assuming. And then what do we want in here? I guess more wood would be fine. More wood, yeah, in our dining area. It'd be easier to clean, I think. Alright, that's good. That's going to take a while, to be honest. It's going to take a lot of building. We're going to need to chop down a lot of wood. So let's orders and chop wood and just freaking like do all of that. Because it's going to take a long time to get all of that wood for like these rooms. 
Oh, nice. We're building the walls and everything. Good stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that. We're getting a new, brand new room. Oh, amazing. And then we're going to throw down sterile tile in here. And did an explosion just happen? Um, no, it's just Budimus being angry. Oh, he needs to be treated. Um, where's Nagark? Nagark? Nagark, where are you? Where, where's the Nagarkarino? Um, that's a dead dude, a yuck of the assassin. Where is Nagark? Oh, he's, uh, going to collect this guy. Alright. Nagark, you go place him down. Okay, Nagark, you really need to prioritize treating Butamus. Prioritize treating Butamus, because he does have the gunshot in his neck. And Nicole also has a gunshot. And I would prefer if we didn't have them die. You know what I'm saying? Diarino would definitely not be a good thing. And then to prioritize, actually, let's grab Butamus. And prioritize treating her. Nicole. There we go. Because you're the better doctor. There we go. Alright, everyone's good and healing and nice and good. Everyone's up and running. We're getting the wooden floors up. That's fantastic. I love it. Oh, now we're getting some nice areas. This is this is great. This is good times, I have to say. We're getting all this stuff operational, looking good. Ah, oh, good feels, man. Good feels. We finally have like a somewhat of a successful, you know, area. That's that's what I'm happy. You know, that's what I'm happy about. Is just having a successful area. Uh, we do need to make um, an area for our animals. I have no. I still have no idea how to make an animal area, um, at all. So I guess. We'll probably just enclose this and then have our animals roam out here somewhere. I don't know. Because they don't really get mad by, like, you know, where their sleeping area is. So as long as it's, like, in a decent spot, shouldn't be a big problem, I think. We're going to have to hunt soon. Oh, what, what happened to that, um... Did we already take him down, that big muffalo that we got? I think so. Oh, look at that. It looks so pretty. The little squares are disappearing. It's gonna take a long time. We got a lot of wood that we need to chop down. Butamus is going at it though. They, a lot of it died, so it probably is pretty easy to chop it down. Poor mood. Yo, version 3.0. Whoa, whoa, yo. What's going on here? You're hungry? Well, you're eating, so it's not. You're jealous? Oh, want to have an impressive bedroom as the other colonists. Don't you have an impressive bedroom? Where do you sleep? Does he not have a room? Oh, how many people do we have? We have seven. He doesn't have a room. Oh, poop arino. He doesn't have a room. All right. Well, we should. I guess we should work on that too then. Um, let's do this and then, bang bang, and then I think like that. There should still be that wall in between. I'm pretty sure that this. Well, yeah, this is a different wall. Four by four, right? A four by four. All right, should be good. Let's do another one over here too. So he doesn't have a room, that's why he's so angry. I was just like, man, why are you having such big problems, bro? It's not even a big deal. But apparently it is a very big deal. Because <laughs> he doesn't have anything. Now, dang, these rooms look so much nicer with some actual flooring. That is for sure. Okay, let's um grab... Uh, what is it? The wall structure, marble... We were using granite walls, right? I'm pretty sure we... Hold on. Let's see, what kind of... Get get out of here. I'm not trying to look at that. What is this? Granite wall, yes. Alright. Granite blocks. Put that right there, I think. And my dad just started up his uh, motorcycle, so you could probably maybe hear that? I'm not entirely sure. What is this? This is marble walls? Eh. Not really that big of a deal. And then, let's... Floors. Sterile tile. We want all this sterile tile right here. I don't know what this m uses. Let's see. It uses silver. Okay, we don't really have any silver, so that's going to take a long time to make. A long time. I don't think we found any silver on this map. Let me look around. Compacted steel, compacted steel, more steel. Yeah, we haven't found any silver outlying the, the random areas. Let's pause temporarily. Let's see. Because if anything happens, I want to be able to move over there. Marble. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really think we found any silver outlining. So a lot of our sil- that's compacted steel. More marble. Man, there's no- whoa, 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 what's this over here? Dead tortoise. Frozen won't spoil, we should definitely collect him. And yeah, there's not a single lick of silver on the outside walls. Which is unfortunate, that means that like trading is a huge priority for us. But we don't really have a lot to trade right now, which is unfortunate. 
Oh well, we're just gonna have to deal with it for now. Is this guy trained? Is he our, uh, our bro? Boomalope? Um, he's wandering and he's- oh, he hasn't- he's not even being tamed? What the heck? We should definitely be taming this dude. 100%. Did our- did our muffalo just die? I swear to god, if our muff- my muffalo died. God dang it. Every single time. I guess he was- didn't overcover- he probably got an infection and died. And we forgot about it. That's probably what happened, let's be honest here. Oh, look at this go. Oh, man. You're gonna get some nice valued rooms in here, guys. I'm telling you. Some nice valued rooms. This needs to be hauled. Shouldn't even be in there. Look at that. You guys should be so happy. Getting some nice paved floors. You know, concrete will eventually go down in here. Wait, concrete requires steel? That doesn't make a lot of sense. That doesn't make a lot of sense at all. Look at that. Oh, you guys, look at that. Look at the, what's this over here? Uranium? What? Where'd we just pop out some ura uranium ore? We found uranium ore in here? That's kind of scary, dog. Isn't that, like, highly radioactive? That does not sound like a good thing to me. Alright, indoors is looking good. It's kind of cold out here. And it's kind of warm. Okay, it's keeping warm. That's good. That's what's important here. Alright, you guys gonna go chop down some more stuff? This guy hasn't been stripped. This guy hasn't been stripped. Probably why he hasn't been buried. And this guy needs to be stripped. We need to sell a lot of clothes, too. We probably actually need to make this uh, stockpile bigger pretty soon here. Is it getting close to where we can grow again? I think, uh, yeah, we're a couple months away before we can actually start growing some our own food, which will be awesome. Poor mood. Yeah, it's because you don't have a bed, right? Yeah, disturb sleep. It's because observed a corpse slept on the ground, slept in the cold. He's gonna yo version 3.0 is gonna be pretty angry until he gets his own house. That's just how it's gonna be. Found some steel in here. All right, uh, we can set up hydroponics if we want to, but I don't really think it's necessary right now. Maybe we should. I don't know. We got a couple sterile floors though. Not much though. Not much at all. We probably just probably should have stuck with wood for at first. Because this is like using all of our silver, I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Psychic drone. Oh, no. The females are going to be extra angry. Yep. Um, a hare has become tamed. It is now designated as hare number four. Cool. All right. We got, like, all these animals coming up. We got hares for days. I think that's um, hares that have been born because they, were they really young? Hold on. Were they, like, super duper young? Um, Let's see. Age two? Eh, maybe not. What about this fourth one? Age three? No, these are probably individually tamed ones, yeah. Terrible mood. Probably a female. Let's see here. Is this person a female? A uh, male colonist. No, he's just really angry that he doesn't have, you know, the food that he wants. Not really anything. Other than that, he doesn't have his own room. That's pretty much it. You know what? I'm gonna, like, throw down a sleeping spot, maybe? Like, in here? Yeah, I'm gonna do that to real, real temporary. Uh, structure, furniture, sleeping spot. We're gonna throw it down in there. Yeah, Yo's gonna be sleeping on the ground. But, hey, it's better than nothing. Where is Yo right now? Yo? What are you doing? You're sleeping? I'm gonna draft you over here. And then I'm gonna undraft you. There you go. Now you don't have to sleep in the cold. You could at least have somewhat of a better mood, I would think. I probably disturbed your sleep. I'm sorry, but... You know, and you observed a bunch of corpses because they haven't been buried. And we probably don't have any more. Yep. We need to make a crematory pretty soon here, too. I don't know what we're gonna, where we're going to build that. Um, and we need to connect these walls over here. These granite walls. There's nothing there. And we're getting to work on that. Yeah, these are going to take a long time to build. Yeah, our silver is slowly depleting to nothing. But it would be really important to get this stuff operational. It would make it so much nicer, and then, like, we wouldn't have me any problems with medical things. Like, infections would just not happen because it would be so clean. This area is already dirty as shit. Why is no one cleaning? We, we need to have, like, cleaning a higher priority, I think. Let's make, like, cleaning two for you, and make cleaning, like, two for you. I think. We don't really have anyone that's growing. Hmm. Grow should be two, probably. And then he's a plant cutter. Does anyone have a passion in growing other than these two? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Alright, that's fine for now. 
How's Nagark doing? What's he researching? I don't remember. Hospital bed, that's right. And I think we're gonna do cremation next because we kind of really need that. A poison ship? Several pieces of an ancient ship have crashed nearby. They slowly spread poison around them, which kills all nearby plants. Destroy them as soon as possible. Oh crap, I didn't click jump to. Oh. What? Crashed poison ship part. Alright. Mad animal. Someone's angry. It's this deer over here. Real angry. Where is she going? Oh, Butamus! Butamus, run away! Butamus, run! Run from the deer, Butamus! It's coming for you. Oh, God. Uh, I think Butamus is gonna get away, because as soon as they get in range, this freaking deer is gone. Oh, God! Okay. Butamus, you're fine. You don't need to go there anymore. It's been taken down. I'm pretty sure you're gonna rest though, because you might have got shot. Nope, you just got bruised. You dodged them bullets like Neo. <laughs> That's for sure. That is for sure. You know, this is pretty nice. This is definitely pretty nice. We're getting together, you know. We got, um, pretty much everything but silver. That's it. Silver needs to get taken- oh, this- this guy's gonna die? Uh, do we wanna save a deer? I mean, we could, if we rule, I mean, we can be like, rescue Iwa, let's do it. And we're gonna put her over here, and then we can have like, Butamus treat the Iwa. Or Iwi. This has a name? Or is that like, it's actual thingwabob? I have no idea. Health, and then we could probably try and tame it. Alright, eh, it's, it's looking better. Looking a little bit better. Terrible mood. Version. Oh, well. Yo, stop. Just stop. You're, uh, you're not even in that terrible mood. You had a social chat. You're in a little pain for some reason because you have a bite scar. Ah, uh, well, that's. That's normal. Alright. You need to stop complaining, yo. Version 3. This character dies. It's done a Reno for your character. That's what I'm saying. Oh, we got that operational. Nice. How's our power looking? Mmm. Oh, I completely forgot about this. Whoops, alright, everyone needs the draft up, and we all need to go over here. Hold on. Okay, that's Butamus. Alright. So, yo, you have a survival rifle. You're gonna go over here. Uh, you have a pump shotgun. You're gonna go, like, right here. You have a survival rifle, I think, as well. I'm gonna have you go right there. Survival rifle? No, pump shotgun. You're gonna go right there. I think that's also a pump shotgun. Pistol. And survival rifle. And then we're all gonna fire at this. Fire? No, oh, thank god we don't have any brawlers, man. If we had brawlers right now, I'd be very sad. Fire fire at that and then we're just hopefully nothing comes out of it if like a bionic part comes out oh no no why uh, why do we does it you really think that we can do this fire 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 at that I don't think we can actually survive against these type of things though are we really missing the crap out of this dude Whoa, wait, what's this guy doing? What's this guy doing? You better not be coming around doing a little sneak a poo. I don't appreciate of that. Okay, going after the other one now. These guys don't seem awfully as strong as that one I fought. That's for sure. Well, B Dog and the Gark are pretty banged up. Um. Uh, left arm, gunshot, Lance. You're fine. We can take down this last guy. Oh my god, never mind. You're not fine. Ryan, uh, go rescue Nagark. That's two of our guys gone. Alright, wonderful. Let's, uh... No, not consume simple meal. Let's walk you both over here. So you can actually get a good angle on him, maybe. Okay, that guy's down. That guy's down. Let's move you over uh, is there any good spot I can move you guys to without putting you in like horrible positioning not really I mean you can go there 
And then I guess you could like squeeze around over here. And B Dog can do the same by going over by like this tree, and Killer can go over by this tree. Oh man. Oh man. No, you you chose the wrong path, Killer. You definitely chose the wrong path. Oh god. He missed though. It's all good. He totally missed. Why well, that's not where I wanted you to go at all. Okay, these guys are not close enough. Beauty just needs to take a step forward. There you go. Alright, is it almost dead? How are we looking over here? Nagark is not looking good. Undraft, can you maybe No, okay. Um Hmm. As soon as we take this down, we're gonna have to send Butamis off. This guy's pretty close to being dead. Come on! Freaking Nicole not doing anything over here. Let's move you closer. This pump shotgun is is very deadly. If we can actually hit with it. Oh, there we go. Okay, Butamis, undraft. Go treat Nagark. Go prioritize treating Nagark, and then everyone else needs to fire at the crashed ship. Fire at the crashed ship. May walk a little bit closer, and then fire at the crashed ship. Oh no, Butamis is not um, freaking up anymore. All right. Okay, B dog, fire at the crashed ship. Destroy this freaking butthole. It's pretty close. It doesn't have that much left. Okay, we could probably move you guys a little bit closer. To be honest, Let's move you like right over here and have you fire. There's no reason you guys should be missing this. That is just sad right now. There we go. Alright, undraft everyone. Go do whatever you need to do. Go eat. You're, I know you're in terrible moods. Um, these guys need to be collected. This needs to be collected. Silver? Oh, awesome. And that hair uh, is probably gonna die. <laughs> let's, let's be honest here. That hair is definitely dead. Um, collect that and I think we're good there's gonna be a lot of people resting temporarily um, a fire is a fire in our home area oh, there maybe barely yeah we gotta do that two more times man that is brutal we have to do that two more hopefully three of them don't come out next time I mean we didn't do it it's just ah man okay prioritize treating the gark or feeding him I guess is what you were doing and then, well, after you feed him, go treat B-Dog. And then go treat Yo. Uh, and then go treat him. And then I'm going to have Nagarka get up and treat you. There we go. Alright, now everyone should be looking good. Hopefully a bulk of good trader has come over. Alright, that's good. That's definitely good. Um, who's our, like, main talking to guy? I don't know. Whatever, we're just going to have Ryan talk to him. Let's see here. Um, do we have anything that we can sell to them? Some boom rat leather we can sell, right? But it's not really that much any anyways. Um, cobra skin, I guess we can get rid of. That's a lot of silver, which is nice. It's worth a lot. Didn't we get chinchilla fur? I thought we got chinchilla fur. Did we not? I swear we did. And I was like, oh man, it's worth so much. But I guess we don't have it anymore. Oh, some, some freaking pigs and a chinchilla and some pigs and roosters and hens would be really great. Hmm. But we don't really have the money for it right now. Is there anything else that we have a lot of that we can get rid of? Muffalo, muff, muffalo leather. Eh. I mean, I guess we can get rid of the squirrel fur. And... Hair. Hmm... Granite blocks, slate blocks, marble blocks. I probably slate blocks are probably pretty useful. Hmm. Yeah, ships easily. I think we're going to get rid of all of our slate blocks. We have a lot of them. There'll be a nice amount. And all I really want is the silver right now to be able to finish this room. To be honest. Poor mood. Butamus. Well, go eat your food then. Because that's probably why you have a poor mood. Also, this needs to be finished so that we can build the other stuff. 
Oh man, we need to go do this two more times. Two more times. This area has some stuff that we can hide behind, but this area? I don't know, man. This is way too close to be able to hide behind it. I guess we can go build some sand... Oh, we can go collect the stuff now. I forgot about that. I guess we can go build some sandbags and stuff, but... I don't know, man. I'm not 100% sure about that. This guy. Strip. And strip this guy, too. Alright. Grab this wood. I guess we can build, like, some sandbags, like, right here and then hide behind them. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So, let's see. Um, structures... Can we build sandbags? Like, how do we... Is it miscellaneous? I think I've seen it before. Is it security? Yeah, sandbags. Alright. We're gonna build some sandbags right here. And then we're gonna start firing at that. And that should be close enough. And then we should be safe enough that it doesn't cause a big problem for us. Where's Ryan going? Ryan, what are you what are you doing? You just having a walk? Having a walk next to some fire? Oh, you're you're a cool guy. Cool guy. <laughs> you just walked through some fire, bro. Now we don't really care about that anymore. And let's see here. Yes, yes, we're getting the stuff built. That's fantastic. Car is so much silver, man. 17 silver for a sterile floor. I don't know. I think maybe silver has like some anti-bacterial um, properties, maybe. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But at least it's getting built, which is nice. We have all of our wood floor built in here. Who is this? Iwa? Oh. Well. I mean, she might make it. Who knows? Uh, I don't think we can treat her. Hold on. Where's Nagark? Can we treat her? No. We've already done all of the treating that we can for whatever reason. Why is there just a random door right here? That should be deconstructed. I forgot that that door... Uh, it probably was to go out here. Oh, well. I want this to be finished so I can have the other rooms, but, you know, Yo is like, he's sleeping out here and he, and he really doesn't like it. He's hungry, he's jealous of other people, he's observing corpses, he's disturbed in sleep. Like, why are these corpses not being buried? Because we don't have room for them? That's gotta be it. Let's uh, drop some corpses, or some graves down then. We have so many graves. Hmm. I'm not gonna build... Whoops, didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that either, either. Keep messing up. And right there and right there. And I guess uh, cancel these two. And that one. I don't know if it's going to mess up my lines or not. So I'm kind of staying away from using that. Alright. Once those graves are built, we should probably bury these guys. Because having corpse lying around probably isn't a good idea. I don't think it makes people very happy. You know, seeing corpse on the ground. Not at all. Poor Mood, yeah, that's a Yo version 3, of course. The reason why I named him Yo version 3 was because he's the third Yo of this playthrough. There was a Yo in the previous playthrough, but this is the third one in this one. So that's why. How's the Gark looking? Why is he just walking around with, like, no HP? His left humerus was shattered? Aw, oh, dude. Oh man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Freaking Nagark is like literally dissected every moment he can. Like every time Nagark has any pro or any problem, Nagark, you know, is going is going towards him to mess him up. Uh, that poison is spreading pretty far now. We're gonna have to move over there pretty soon. Mhm. Mm yep. Awoke. Yeah. Hopefully, there's not gonna be three lance dudes in there. We're almost fully healed. I want to kind of wait till Nagark is full healed all the way. Because he's got quite a bit of problems. Or if he ever is going to be healed all the way. That's a good point. I never really thought about. He might never be healed fully. And that, that would not be a good thing. Stupid fire's getting in here. Anyways, I think this is a good, great time to end the episode. We've done a lot. We did a lot of the floor stuff. We had these guys crash land on us. And we're going to have to destroy them again. Thankfully, they give silver, which is really nice. So it's going to allow us to be able to finish this. It's just we have to be careful. You know, how long we fight and what we're going to be fighting for. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time with many more RimWorld episodes to come. I'm Sergeant Kenai.